Now the topic before us is limitations of multinational companies. First point is danger for domestic industries. MNCs have huge financial resources. They can easily dominate the market due to better products and lower prices because they have enough financial resources and they enter a particular country they may reduce they may offer the products to the public at the price which is less than the cost at which the product is produced though they may be incurring losses but their main aim at the time of entry is to grab the market share so they can afford to sell their products at below the cost price domestic industries on the other hand cannot afford cannot match the financial resources of mnc's they cannot face the challenges posed by the mnc's because the mnc's have fixed funds so mnc's can afford to bear losses for a long time but domestic companies cannot so the mnc's wipe of lo local competition and many domestic industries have to wind up in due course of time because they may be continuously incurring losses next limitation of multinational company uncertainty in jobs when a company decides to expand its operations to a different nation employment generates at the new location but the mnc's can move or shift their production factory or offices in a very short time they may decide that they will shut their operations in a particular region or in a particular country and will shift their production factory to some other country or region why do they do so for any reason like low wages at other location this creates uncertainty for the host country next point is repatriation of profits repatriation of profits means sending profits to the home country to which it originally belongs mnc's earn huge profits and send their profits back which adversely affects the foreign exchange reserves of the host country next limitation is no benefit to poor people when it is argued by some people that mnc's produce goods which are used by rich people so generally poor people of the host countries do not get any benefit from mnc's next point is environmental concerns what is the aim of the multinational companies as already told their main aim is market maximization and profit maximization the main concern of mncs is profit making and they do not take steps for the welfare of the people for the well being of the environment if such steps leave the company in an unfavorable position it means that there may be some companies in mncs which care for the public or for the environmental issues but if such type of issues cost very much to the organization that is millions or crores of rupees have to be spent they think twice they can cut their cost of production by not taking proper precautions to stop 
solution it means that if they have to install the appropriate devices or machinery to reduce pollution it may cost to the mnc in crores billions millions or billions of rupees so it may decide not to install such type of devices or machinery and instead go on as it is whether their stations is pollution or not they care less for the environmental issues or for the welfare of the public next point is disregard to national priorities of the host countries mncs invest in most profitable sectors and disregard the national goals and priorities of the host countries they do not take care for the development of backward regions of the host country they establish their factories or units only in those places where it benefits them most where from where they can get their raw material easily where labor is easily available at less prices in nutshell they only care for the profit and they generally do not take any steps to solve the chronic problems of the host country like unemployment and poverty next point on which ground it is mncs are criticized is exploitation of worker mncs often invest in those countries where regulations and laws are not strict with regard to worker welfare and where cheap labor is available these multinational companies usually have their base in developed countries where they have proper timings office timings or work timings that is 7 hour shift timings and weekend off it means that there may be holiday in the main countries developed countries saturday sunday off but their offices or centers in developing countries normally have 12 hours working per day with one day off only that during the one week they may be having the workers of the mncs in the host countries or less developing countries may be having only one day off in a week next is promotion of foreign culture mncs tend to promote foreign culture in the host country to sell their products they make people forget about their own cultural heritage these companies increase the culture of fast food and soft drink in developing countries foods like burgers and coke promoted by mncs are injurious to the health of the people also next limitation is mncs pressurize governments mncs have lost of lot of funds for investment in any country so many a time the government agrees to change the laws and provide certain benefits to mncs that may not be beneficial for the long term welfare of their people next limitation is creation of monopolistic conditions as i already told that when an mnc enters a host country it may sell the products at very cheap prices as it can afford to bear losses even in the long run but the domestic companies cannot survive for long by incurring losses so the mncs as they have lot of funds they can buy out their competitors through mergers and acquisitions which may result into monopolistic conditions google for example owns a significant majority of the search engine traffic the reason why monopolies are a disadvantage 
of MNCs is that if you can purchase a particular item from a one MNC only, then that MNC is free to set whatever price they want for its product because there is no competition. It means that if in your country a particular type of product is being manufactured by a particular MNC only, you have no choice but to buy that product from that MNC only. It results into the creation of monopolistic condition for the MNC. Now these are the questions for your practice. First is how do MNCs pose danger to domestic industries? How some actions of MNCs can cause uncertainty of jobs in the host country? What is meant by repatriation of profits? Whether MNCs always take steps for the welfare of people, for the well-being of the environment? Next, how do MNCs tend to promote foreign culture in the host country? How MNCs can pressurize the government in the host country? Seventh, how MNCs can create monopolistic conditions in the host country? Thanks for watching. If you like our course, please spare some time to give a star rating to our course.